So let's take a look at all the luxury items I purchased in 2023. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before in case this is your first time watching one of my videos. Hi I'm Leslie I'm so glad to have you here. On my channel I talk about all things luxury in particular handbags but I cover a wide range of topics. I film unboxings, shopping vlogs, travel vlogs. There have been quite a number of travel vlogs especially when you can't London into that because I did live in London for half a year like the second part of 2023 but aside from that I cover all things luxury on this channel. I mean travel does count into luxury in my opinion at least. If any of that sounds like a thing, luxury, travel, some high street fashion thrown into the mix, I would love for you to consider subscribing. Anyways, as I said at the beginning, this video will be me talking you through all the luxury items I purchased in 2023. I appreciate this is a little too late. Usually most creators put up these type of videos towards the end of a particular year that they're gonna discuss in the video or like right in the beginning of January. I didn't manage to do that because I was like in between moving back from London and preparing for a cruise that I went on to the Caribbean. I'm gonna leave a link to um, two vlogs actually I filmed from the Caribbean. I'm gonna leave that link below but anyway I know it's a little too late but I still thought it would be interesting to go through everything I purchased in 2023 like luxury wise. So I guess let's get into it. Oh by the way there will be an unboxing or like reveal of something that I hinted towards in a like Harrod shopping vlog towards the end of last year and I didn't manage to unbox and like reveal it. So I'm gonna include the unboxing in this video so stay tuned because I'm gonna go through my purchases in chronological order going all the way up to December, duh, <laughs> which is when I purchased the last luxury item in 2023. Anyway, let's start with the first item, which <laughs> if you've watched some of my other videos, maybe the item and the videos that I filmed about it um, maybe were the reason why you discovered my channel. I don't know, but it was a very unexpected one and really caught me off guard. So um, that came into my life in like mid-February, I want to say. It's a Birkin 35. Let me free it from the dust bag. Birkin 35 Togo leather e-tube with gold hardware. I'm not going to repeat the entire story and um, everything about this bag. I'm going to leave the two relevant um, videos linked in the description box and in the info card up here or there. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really unexpected. I think like a video prior to the unboxing video of that one or like two videos prior was a video where I basically discussed how I don't have a luxury wish list and yeah it was like really interesting timing but uh, yeah things happen when you least expect it and this is definitely the case with the Spurkin so it's like a new from the boutique offer which uh, yeah really caught me off guard because I'm not like a regular Hermes client and I hadn't been purchasing I think like I basically went through all my purchases that I had ever done both with a boutique as well as online and it's hardly anything so I was really surprised to receive the phone call let alone be offered this like classic bag yes it's a 35 so on the larger side but still plus like big bags are coming back anyway I'm so glad to like be reunited with this bag because I didn't take my Birkin to London with me she was in storage and well cared for but now that we're reunited I'm so looking forward to actually start wearing and appreciating her I've had her for yeah, I'd say like, yeah, it's been a year at this point. Um, she hasn't gotten the love she deserves, um, which yeah is due to the fact that I moved to London and didn't take her with me and everything. But uh, yeah, now that we're reunited, I'm so looking forward to wearing her. So this is um, purchase number one in 2023. And yeah, starting the year off strong and expensive, especially seeing as I definitely didn't expect um, to get a phone call for a Birkin but here we are. So purchase number one. Purchase number two and I think that was like in mid towards the end of March I believe is my mini Rival bracelet also in a tube but a different leather. I think it's Clemence or Swift. I think it's Swift because it's fairly like soft hardly any grain whatsoever. I did have a little bit of an issue when it comes to the hardware and looking at it like up close I think the same issue is happening again so it's rose gold hardware. MS's rose gold is fairly still looks fairly like regular like yellow gold it's not like a pink pink gold but I did have some discoloration on the hardware and I ended up exchanging the bracelet for a new one but yeah so this is the new one still I do have some like discoloration I'm gonna leave a link to my unboxing and like where I discussed it and I think I also included like close-ups and everything in that video so um yeah item number two as I said, like March, maybe the beginning of April, 
my second purchase in 2023. Looking at my purchases in chronological order makes me realize that um, the first half, even more than half um, of 2023 was very orange heavy. The box immediately gives it away. This was actually not an in-store purchase and we're already in think like mid-September with this one. So 2023, yes, it was an expensive year because of, yeah, sad Birkin that happened to come into my life very unexpectedly, but I didn't buy an awful lot uh, like quantity wise. So this was actually already in, yeah, as I said, like I think September. I think I mentioned the story in one of my London vlogs. So this is a, I guess, pre-love purchase, but it was like unused, at least from the looks of it. So it's a Twilly and I actually have Jojo Lux. Um, she's on Instagram and YouTube and everything. I'm gonna leave her socials below to thank for this one because I think in 2022, I purchased this exact Twilly just because neutral color Twillies are very hard to come by when it comes to Hermes. That did change a little because um, like a couple of months, weeks ago, Hermes actually launched a like men's line when it comes to Twillies and those Twillies are way more neutral and like, solid colored or close to solid colored but before that neutral color twillies uh, were actually kind of hard to find um, so yeah i snatched this one up like not this one the one that i purchased in 2022 on the website and uh, yeah just because i was like yeah better have it than need it at some point fast forward to me getting let me grab her my birkin and i realized yeah the birkin has two handles i mean I, there was no way i would have been able to plan for my Birkin to happen because um, yeah, A, timing wise between 2022 and being offered this bag, quite the stretch of time. Plus I definitely didn't expect to be offered um, any kind of quarter bag, let alone a Birkin in a neutral color. Anyway, so I was like, okay, this is like an excellent match, but the Birkin has two handles. I need two twillies. But by the time that I got offered the bag, this was like long gone previous, like past previous season. So I went on a hunt, which was quite tricky. I wasn't even able to find overpriced Twillies. There was just like none to be found in this exact color combination. And then Jojo Lux, who's also London or like close to London based, uh, reached out and she's part of a couple of like um, Facebook buy and sell groups. And she was like, do you want this Twilly? There's someone offering it for sale at like, I think, right about like retail price maybe even a little below retail and I was like oh my god thank you so much yes please like buy it on my behalf I'm gonna pay for you the money and everything in between us talking and her purchasing it and she had it sent to her and us actually meeting up I had like a whole um, ankle situation twist on my ankle wasn't able to walk for weeks so that's why I said like might have been September might be early October actually because it did stretch out so much but here it is. I'm gonna find the time to actually like dress her up and now they have two of the exact same twillies. Anyway, enough talk about Hermes. This is actually the last Hermes item that I purchased in 2023. And as I said, like chronologically, we're already in September. Another very exciting thing that happened in September. Yes, another purchase, but even more importantly, our YouTuber meetup in Selfridges, uh, which was like just amazing. So we went to Selfridges and Fendi at Selfridges hosted us and something from Fendi came home with me just um, not only to commemorate um, our meetup, but also kind of. Plus, uh, I do have a soft spot for luxury sunglasses and here they are. Anyway, so I got these. I think they're called the O-Lock sunglasses and this type of shape is just like my go-to sunny shape and I love the like gold logo detail on the side so here they are and I've been wearing them tons and we're actually already at the last item that I purchased as I said quantity wise there isn't a lot to show you but hopefully you found this video interesting nonetheless anyway let's um unbox the item that I hinted towards at the beginning. So this was a very impulsive purchase. Let me get closer. It's by Bulgari. I didn't purchase it in the Bulgari boutique. I purchased it in Harrods because they had an amazing end of year sale. So this was like right at the end of December 2023. They had an amazing sale and it did take you long for that uh, to look at the sale items but also like just to roam around one last time in Harrods. Um, yeah anyway. I found these, or like I found myself in the sunglasses section, duh. As I said, I do have a soft spot for designer sunnies and um, I came across these. Not for the first time though, I'm gonna like unbox them in a second. Also, if you've watched my Caribbean vlogs, you may have spotted these because these came to the Caribbean with me. Anyway, so I found myself in the sunglasses section and um, came across these pairs of sunnies that I've seen and tried on. I'm not even lying when I say like, eight, nine times, sometimes at the airport, sometimes I think once in Selfridges, definitely once in Harrods as well. 
um, yeah, several airport like sunglass hut um, situations. So safe to say it was kind of meant to be because these were 50% off. I don't recall the exact price. If I remember to like, actually I have to go on a hunt for the receipt for the sunnies. Hopefully I haven't lost the receipt. I mean, I'm not planning on reselling the sunnies um, in any way. Ooh. <laughs> Still some like sand particles from the Caribbean apparently. Anyway, before I ramble on any further, let me reveal the second pair of sunnies that I purchased in 2023, luxury wise. I think I purchased like one or two pairs of like cheapo sunnies at Boots or Superdrug or something like that, but like luxury wise, my second pair of sunnies purchased in 2023. This detail on the side, obviously Bulgari is very well known or like one of their signature design elements that runs through their fine jewelry, through their costume jewelry, handbags, small leather goods and sunglasses. Not all of their sunglasses, but yeah, I love this detail on the sides or like the arms. So it's in a champagne gold kind of color. Other than that, these sunnies are quite plain and fairly similar in shape as the Fendi ones. Maybe not as big. Let me try to um, get them to compare. Mm, let me twist the arms to the side. Hopefully, yeah, like that kind of. I'm also able to see that the Fendi sunnies definitely need um, a clean. But anyway, so the Fendi sunnies are a little more round. So what do we think? I'm super happy with all of my purchases. I did voice my opinion or like my thoughts and how I felt about the Birkin in my, I think like two or three months like update check-in. I'm fairly certain that I ruffled some feathers with that update video because um, yeah, I appreciate it. It's super hard to get your hands on a Birkin or Kelly for that matter. Even like a Constance new from the boutique, especially when you don't have like a significant amount of purchase history. I ended up being lucky um, from my hometown boutique, not Paris. I've never tried the Paris system. But yeah, I can't really give you an update compared to that video that I'm referencing. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. I'm not gonna like, that's a long video. I'm not gonna try to sum it up because um, yeah, I will go into a rambly tangent. And um, anyway, so I can't really give you an update because as I said, um, this bag has been in storage for over half a year and I haven't worn her an awful lot, but I'm gonna try to change that in 2024 and um, I'll be happy to film like an update video once I have like a significant or like a proper update, I guess. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna catch you in one of my next videos. Bye.